Good morning, folks. Welcome, observers. Today we've got storm, seismicity, solar forcing of the global electric circuit, and a pretty cool star that scientists think had a double nova. Accompanying animation is pretty amazing, too. But we're starting, as always, with the last 24 hours on our star, and we find the last day contained pops, shifts, confined eruptive activity at the active regions, but no bigger flares, and the sunspot activity was not able to produce CMEs towards the Earth. We are watching those along with the plasma filaments today, despite the expectation of more quiet, and the sunspots would still need considerable development to begin flaring. They're small to moderate in size, with only minimal magnetic complexity thus far. Folks, we've got two storms of note in the Pacific. The second one I circled is going to bend north and then out to sea, but the first one is going to skirt between Taiwan and China. Could be some significant impacts in this area in the days ahead. That quake swarm is continuing south of Japan. We're still watching the progression of this sequence here, and it continues today. And now we head to the science news. They've done a pretty good job here breaking down the solar forcing of the atmospheric electric circuit in terms of magnetospheric compression and the aspects of the solar wind. Everything in space weather impacts the ionosphere just in different ways, but all of those excitements juice up the global electric circuit below, again in slightly different ways and to different extents. Excellent to see them studying the rapid solar forcing pathway here, where it's only minutes between solar storm impact and weather modulation below. Lastly, folks, we've got a star they say exploded twice, and for those who are thinking it, doesn't make a ton of sense, no. Different blast densities and ejection speeds are a better explanation for the shells concentrically appearing around the remnant, and this would be the full supernova variety rather than the recurrent one. The star is in fact gone now, not going to do that again. Folks, we'd love to see you out at Observer Ranch. Was not kidding yesterday. Lots of ways to stay, whatever you think sounds good. Lots of events at the ranch as well, all the time to come see or just come hang out with other observers. Next event is the Pole Shift Conference, but there are lots of other events as well. Head to ObserverRanch.com for details, events, and to book your stay. That's ObserverRanch.com. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.